And then when you decided, when you got a job uh, as, a, as a draftsman and surveyor, that's what took you north. Mm hmm I came back home to Toronto. And uh, as I said, I felt that I, I was full of my experience in the woods. I'd never been in the woods that way before. And I was very impressed with it. And uh, consequently, I wanted to express it in music. If you ask any girl from the parish around what pleases her most from her head to her toes, she'll say, I'm not sure that it's business of yours, but I do like to waltz with a log driver, for he goes burning down and down like water. That's where the log driver learns to step lightly. It's burning down and down like water. The log driver's waltz pleases girls completely. Who's here? Hi. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. Oh, yes. I was trying to think when. Kate and Anna McGarrigal, who like to waltz with a log driver. They're Wade Hemsworth's biggest fans. How do we? We saw you this summer. Yeah, that's right. I first met the McGarrigals for a CBC interview about 15 years ago. But Wade has known them since they were still in high school and wondering how to break into the folk music scene in Montreal. <laughs> Did you see it? No. Oh, yes, you're a Canadian. We were asked On July the 1st, the McGarrigals and I and other Canadians were asked by the Toronto Globe and Mail to name our cultural heroes. Anna McGarrigal chose Wade Hemsworth. <laughs> when did you first I'm sing so Wade's songs? Oh, uh, I think maybe in... Uh, well, we met Wade. I was about 15. Early 1960s. Yeah. yeah. It was before you yeah. were singing professionally. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Three years yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 He was a hero on the folk circuit mm -hmm. uh, in Montreal, and he was kind of considered very um, bohemian. And we were just kind of getting into you that were kind bohemian. of... bohemian. Well, you were kind of bohemian. <laughs> kind of, yeah. He still is. And we were just kind of getting into that lifestyle. Think, One of the you know, first. I don't know. I used, to, I used to go to Ann Arbor. I had friends in Ann Arbor, and they'd all sit around, and they'd sing the Blackfly song, and they'd say, and they'd, they'd introduce it from the stage, and they say, this is, a, this is an old folk song collected in Canada. And I'd say, oh, well, wait a second, <laughs> Grandma wrote that, you know? I mean, they actually didn't, you know, they thought these were songs that were collected in the North Woods. They, yeah. And we knew who the person was behind it. Yeah. So it made me proud to know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Wade's singing? I think it's I great. like Wade's singing very it, much. It's, 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 it's totally. a yeah. perfect yeah. thing. Thank you. Yeah. In some ways, you know, when the person writes a song, you prefer to hear them sing it than to have anybody else sing it, including yeah, no yourself. <laughs> no matter how wonderful it can, That's right. it can yeah. be. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Well, there's a certain formality that way it gives. Something like, for instance, like The Old Rooster, which is really about, you know, the, suddenly you're out of, the, you're out of the, the North Woods and you're in the boudoir almost. It's kind of yeah. like, or, you know, kind of, I mean, it's, <laughs> yes. it's the only way you can take us there. <laughs> can you sing a verse? Once I met an old rooster all tattered with living. His hackles were torn by the taking and the giving. He said the taking and the giving's not all as I choose. You put forth your hand and your knuckles get bruised. And whether what's wise or foolish prove foolish or true, hangs on the way you go cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> have you ever sung? Have you sung that? You no, sung that? It, that's no, it's a male song. Only I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody except Wade sing that song. It's 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 impossible to sing. You have to be Wade to sing it. <laughs> and, <laughs> Maybe you have to be an old rooster to sing it. <laughs> well, not, old, not old hens. <laughs> I don't think of those old hens. Maybe foolish you. Wade said that you sang using foolish you. Um, <laughs> more than he could. You've taken it away from him and he wasn't oh, yes. grudging oh, that yes, or anything. Sure. Well, you all said it was a woman's song. He well, said, girls, you. now, here are the women's well, songs. He said, this is a log <laughs> driver's <laughs> walls. <laughs> Kate, you'll do the log driver's <laughs> walls, and <laughs> Anna, you'll do <laughs> foolish yes, years. Well, do <laughs> Those two songs, they didn't be long to be good, sure. <laughs> and also the use of the walls is nice, because you don't see walls very nice. But it kind of brings back, like, in the log driver's walls and in uh, um, the other song, which is the one Oh, the land of the, the muskeg. The land of the muskeg, mm -hmm. which really has gives mm -hmm. that, that kind of feeling of kind of, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling to kind of like a loneliness Country in some cases. Mm -hmm. You know, there's 
it's and so few people you know write him all the time but it's nice that, that he does that Mosquit in the shine birch tree then come the in between seasons of the freeze up of the thaw and it's let's go hey, hey look, look out, out let's, let's go, go. <laughs> for some fun with the, the girls boys. in the town, the girls in the town. He's a popular guy when his money flows free from the land. Land of muskeg and the shiny birch tree. Muskeg and the shiny birch tree. Huskies are a howling in the cold winter's dawn. Then he'll recall, oh, how he'll recall that he spent all his money with the girls in the town, the girls in the town. So, boys, save your money or you'll all be like me in the land of the muskeg and the shining birch tree. Muskeg and the shine birch tree. Oh! <laughs>